So here we are in part three, and I'm going to show the movie that we've got so far. I'm going to press Command Return, which is Control Enter on a PC, and you can see that I have these three birds coming in, fading in one at a time, and um, it looks okay, but I'm not real happy with the way it's happening. I want to move the birds around a little bit so it looks better. So I'm going to close the preview window here. And the, gr the great thing about using keyframes is that on each keyframe, you know you can move things around. And if you don't have too many keyframes, it isn't too difficult. So I'm going to start with bird number one. And I'm going to go to the second keyframe here on frame 12. I'm going to click on the bird, and then I'm going to do the scale tool. And I'm going to scale him down a bit because he's larger than the other ones. And... I am going to move him over to the left and I'm actually going to rotate him a little bit to the right. So if I move the cursor outside the scale tool window, you'll see that it becomes a curved arrow and I can rotate the object. Okay, so and now I'm going to go back to frame one of that same animation, the f Angry Bird number one. And um, I'm going to scale that one down, but this time I'm going to scale it even further because it's going to kind of zoom in. And then I'm going to move it over to the right. Actually going to move it off the stage. And so it's going to zoom in this way. So if I scrub my playhead, you'll see what I'm talking about. If I move the playhead, you'll see that the bird is coming in and it's rota rotating into position like like that pretty cool okay so now I'm gonna lock frame I'm gonna lock layer one and I'm gonna work on layer two which is starting on frame 20 so I'm gonna go over here to frame uh, 30 and I'm gonna scale that one down as well it's, it's a little too big. So scaling it down. And I'm going to rotate that to the other way and move it down and to the right so that it's kind of in the same position but a little bit lower than the first one. I like that. So I'm going to go to frame the first frame of that animation and I am going to scale that one down and move it off to the right like that just off the stage and that's good if I s play that scrub the playhead through I can see that that bird is coming in nicely and then to the third one I'm gonna lock the second layer turn on the third layer and go to the finished frame here, the finished keyframe, and I'm going to make this bird a hair smaller as well. And, well, maybe not that small, maybe a little bit bigger. And move him up here so he's not covering up the other guys. And then go back to frame 40 where he starts. And I'm actually going to move him down and scale him a little bit smaller. And this time, I'm going to use a different technique, and that is I'm going to click on frame 40 here. And when I do, on the Properties Inspector, I see this thing called Rotate, and it says Auto. I'm going to do it rotate CW, which is counterclockwise. I'm sorry, CW is clockwise. And if I click on this zero here, it adds a one. So now the animation is going to start down here and it's going to rotate up one time to its finished position. So there he goes. All right. So here's the finished animation of the birds. I'm going to press Command Return. There's one, there's two, there's three. 
One, two, three. Great. Now all we need is the text. And we're going to work at, on that in the next video.